Hey guys, I'm Kaylin. Welcome back to Fable Hill Farm. This is going to be a birth video. I just don't know whose birth it's going to be. We've got four does in the kidding stalls right now. One isn't due till Tuesday. Today is Saturday. Two were due today and it's about 10 p.m. and nobody's kitted yet. One is due tomorrow. It's anybody's game. It's like neck and neck. There's a couple of does that I think are going to go first, either Bunny or Sidar. And I'm just like checking in on them before I go to bed. I say go to bed. I'll be up again every couple of hours, like checking the cameras just to see if anything's going on. Uh, and I'll make sure that my bibs and my coat and everything stays nice and warm in the house. My headlamp is charged. So that way, if I've got to put my boots on, my bibs on, and just rush outside, I can. The GoPro is waiting on the bench right by the door going out to the garage. I'm on my phone right now. My phone's going to be charged. Like, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to catch whatever footage I can. We'll just have to wait and see. But this is going to be a birth video. Hopefully, there is a birth to be seen. If not, there will be baby goats. But hopefully, multiple live births will be caught on camera for you all to see. All right, well, good night, girls. Good night, Sidai. Good night, crazy lady. Good night, Sidar. Okay. Good night, girls. See you, see you when I see ya. No, you can't come out. You're in here for a reason. Really, Shadai doesn't need to be in here. She is not, like, in danger of kidding tonight or anything. But both Sidar and then Bunny are Sadai's like, two moms. I mean, this is her aunt who also adopted and nursed her, and Sidar's her mom. And because she's so close to kidding, like, it wouldn't be the best thing for her to be without either one of them. So, first stress factor. She's in here. And then look at Beanie Babies on her back. They are going to get transitioned to like being alone at night and being with the herd during the day. But honestly, it's just been too cold and it's just like better in this situation with the weather and everything for them to be in here at night with her. So that's where they are. All right. So it's the next morning and Sidar does seem like she's going to be the first one to go. I checked cameras all night. I didn't sleep very well. Uh, nobody kidded. Here we are. It's about uh, noon the next day. Sidar is starting to get noisy, which can be a sign of a doe moving more into like active labor because they're feeling more pain, more contractions. I did put her in the kidding stall. I let all the does out this morning. They all went and got grain and, you know, just let them stretch their legs for a while and just kind of see how they were acting. Um, Everybody is kind of on the same page other than Sidar starting to yell and all that. So I just put her back in the kidding stall and she was happy to come in here. She came in right away. She started digging. I've got calcium gluconate here. I'm going to give this to her. Uh, that helps them just like in the patrician process, in the labor process. So I'm going to give her this. They usually like go crazy for it. And then um, I can watch her on the camera and I'm just going to let her be for now. Okay. I guess. Be good. It's calcium. Okay. Cat, get out of here, cat. I don't want to stretch you out, honey. See? Is that good? Pull again with me. He's purring up a storm. He does not understand why nobody wants to be with him all the time. All right. Well, I'm going to let her do her thing, and I'll just keep an eye on her. She got hay. Got her light. Was that good? And then um, I got this tote ready with a towel. Kids are going to go in here. They are going to be coming in the house. So that tote's ready. And then I've got this tote over here. I need to put a towel down. Um, and I brought this heat lamp over. This is going to be like my warming station until I can get the kids in the house just so that they have a spot with light and they're warm. So that's where I'm going to stick them. That's the plan anyways. Then I'm going to take this blow dryer in the house so that way... Um, we can blow dry the kids off as soon as they come in and get them nice and dry. Just came and sat with her so I could just kind of see how she's progressing. She's coming to see me and she's definitely starting to have 
some stronger contractions. I can see it in like her tail and how she's raising her tail and she's really sunken in around that tail. Let's see here if she shows us again what she's doing. She's holding her tail kind of funny and she's just uh, definitely uncomfortable, ain't right, girl? been digging a lot. She's got the whole stall all dug up, haven't you, Missy? <coughs> what are you thinking? What are you thinking, the goat? Again, Sidar is going to be a second freshener, and she had a buck and a doe last year. And her daughter, Sadai, is due on Tuesday. Oh, there she goes, how she's lifting that tail. I mean, she is also using the bathroom, but it's a very exaggerated. I think the contractions probably, you know, help her loosen her brows, but you can see that tail's looking pretty funky, how she's holding it. And yeah. You feeling it, Mama? Yeah, that's... It's definitely her. Oh, she's starting to get some discharge there. Yep, we're starting to get some slime. Water is pretty full. This is like a very, very much a, you know, sign of going into active labor. When you see this, this whole ordeal here with the tail, with how sunken in she is in the rear. Her rump looks crazy right now. She's got that white discharge. Things are happening. Udder is very full. I'm not going to try to touch her ligaments or anything. They're definitely gone. I did give her some calcium, but... Got this girl. Good girl, mama. Good girl, honey. You got it. Good girl, mama. Good girl, Sidar. You got it, honey. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. You got it, mama. we got here can't tell we got this mama can't tell what i'm looking at here feet it's a foot that's a face face here we go hey baby hey hey little one hey all right hey little one Hey, happy birthday, sweetie pie. Oh, you got one leg back, huh? Yeah. All right, got a leg back. Yeah. Let's see, can you get it out, honey? Yeah. 
Oh, good girl, Cider. Push him down, so I'll leave the baby here for a second. You. Let's get your face cleaned out. Get it out. Got that stuff out, baby. Hey, you are big. Get it out. Cough it up, honey. Is that it? Uh-huh. Let's take this baby over here. Big baby. Big. It's your sibling, huh? That must be a buck. That kid is huge. Two. Remember, be very quiet and calm. I haven't even looked to see what they are yet. Give me a couple more towels, please. Um, can I see them? Yes, be very calm. They just were born. Okay. Oh, hi, baby. Yeah, we're not picking them up yet. Here, why don't you hold this for mama? Can you hold this <gasps> yeah. and point it over there? Look, point it, hold it up here. Yep, we make it shorter. Here. You hold it over there, okay? Oh, hold it up here. We'll make it nice and short for you, baby. Hold it just like that, up here. Up here, yep. 
hold it over the babies. Hold it up over them so we can see them. Oh, babies. That is a huge kid. All right, well, I guess. Um, let me just check and make sure their passageways are cleared. And you can take them in. I think they're both bucks. Buck. Twin bucks. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys take them inside. All right, well, a little stressful because I've never pulled kids before. Um, two bucks, it looks like. I'm not sure if she's done. She was only marked for twins on ultrasound. It's possible she has a third one in there. But here she is. She's. Just licking stuff. It's a good mama, huh? She's a good girl, yeah. I'll have to get her milked out. Um, I'm gonna go get her some hot molasses water. That'll be nice for her and some grain and we'll see kind of what she's doing. My husband and my daughter came out. They took the bucklings in the house to go get them dry and warm. It's still pretty chilly and uh, yeah, we don't want like don't want babies cold and yeah we're just trying it we're pulling them so we'll see how it goes gave her some hot molasses water there with some blue light i think she's done with twin bucks i'm gonna have to you know get her milked out here pretty quick so <music> Why'd you give him a little bottle? Honey, this is just the easiest bottle to give him right now. Oh dear, he he got it. Oh, now can't hear me. Yep, now it can hear you. He's really oh, he hungry so... now. Yeah, he is. Come here, buddy. And can't see me. Yeah, but we're not worried about you just being on the camera, okay? We're. These baby goats are so cute. Here you go, buddy. That'll get them perked up quick. This baby goat just came to me. Did it? Yeah. I'm talking to the camera, you silly. Oh. This little baby goat is the cutest. That one's the most good driest. This one is the most wettest, but they're gonna dry up soon. Help me. But now these little babies are so cute. Come here, little. Well, they both drank. That is very good. That's what oh. keeps them alive. Oh, mommy! He's so hungry. Wait, so hungry, buddy? You want more? You drink a good bit. You want any more right now or not? Yeah. Oh, he mm -hmm. see my finger. He, th did he says he's so hungry, huh? Mm-hmm. How did he get so much milk? I just milked some out of cider, honey. Oh, the baby goat trying to knock the camel over. Come here, buddy. You want more? You want to get out, buddy? He just wants to walk. Do you want more or not, little buddy? Okay. Oh, that will get very sad. Do you want more? Well, they were just born, honey. It takes them a minute. 
Wait, you figure out how to stand? Yes, they literally were just inside their mama's tummy. 